Hello friends, so I am back in Athens, uh, I brought more, more stuff from Paris and London and this month I'm going to be looking for a flat to rent here, um, to move here, like make my base here in Athens and I live in this temporary flat for now, it's super nice, super central, I'm going to walk to the Acropolis actually it's a very nice area. If you remember, you know, it was always my dream to live in a hot country. And when I quit my corporate job and now, you know, working remotely, I told myself, okay, now is the, t is the time I need to do it. I need to move to a hot country. So I decided on Greece and you see, Right now it's sunny outside and I'm already motivated and filming this vlog. I don't know, I think it's gonna be great. Let's see, let's see what happens. You know, I grew up in Paris and then lived in London for 10 years. So, you know, I could not believe that at 33 years old, I will have new beginnings, moving to another country again, having to find a flat, settle, bring every time every time I, I leave the country bring more stuff let's see uh, i'm gonna go for a walk now um and you know I, I stay near the acropolis so just gonna go towards there and show you uh show you a bit my new area my new neighborhood and then maybe i'm gonna bring with i'm gonna bring you with me while i do flat hunting in athens um, I think I want to be near the beach, so that will be the areas I will be looking for near the beach. Let's go! You know what I love? When the streets smell like Greek food. Oh my god, it was so delicious. So basically I just had a little walk and this is the Museum of Athens behind me. And this is the Acropolis! Yay! So yeah, Acropolis is my new neighbor and uh, I want to walk here every day and say hi to the Acropolis. That's what I'm gonna do. So when I was thinking about my ideal flat in Athens, I had this vision that it will have sea view and I would just walk by the beach and do walks and, and run every day and be near the beach. And I started looking online, uh, that was a few weeks ago. So I filmed something, but it actually went into slow motion, so I have to do it again. Basically, I was saying how I've looked online and the flats are so horrible here in Athens. Like, the dec for the furnished flats, the furnitures are horrible. So then you need to look at unfurnished flat, but then you need to buy everything yourself. And sometimes they don't even have like a kitchen and, and wash machine and like nothing. So it's very difficult. Uh, I don't know, because you know, having to buy all the furnitures is like a big additional cost but then if i get a furnished place it's gonna be horrible i'm gonna want to throw everything away like the furnitures are just horrible and also sometimes the like the flat has been kind of refurbished is nice but the bathroom is still so old and they didn't refurbish the bathroom and for me environment is very important like i need to be in a flat that i feel good that it has a nice decor that is going to make me feel good and abundant and I just get more inspired, more motivated when I am in a nice flat. I don't know, you know, environment it has so much impact on me. So I really need to find a good place. And this place um, keeps coming up in front of my eyes. There was, there was this place that I saw three weeks ago before I left and I messaged the agency and they said uh, yeah uh, when I come back I can visit and it's been three weeks already and it's still free and I was looking at other websites and this place kept coming back coming back in front of my eyes and it has 
a beautiful sea view from the balcony, which was in my vision. And it has two bedrooms, two toilets and one bath. Unfortunately, in Greece as well, it's very hard to find two bedrooms, two bathrooms. It's always one bathroom with bath and toilet and extra toilet. So this is very hard to find, two bedroom, two bathroom, and this is what I want. Um, so this place is still, um, you know, I kept seeing, kept seeing this place in multiple websites. And then I messaged the guy again and I said, hey, can, when can I visit? And he said, oh, today, you can visit today if you want. So I'm going today to visit this flat. So let's see. And by the way, today I was talking with a family friend and he was telling me that he has a separated studio in his house and that I can stay there as long as I want. And this is another um, evidence that I am always supported by the universe. You know, I will never, I don't know, I always find a solution, someone who's going to help me. Like I'm never going to live in the street where I don't have money, I don't have um somewhere to stay like the universe is always taking care of me so actually i don't even need to rent a flat i could be staying with with um with this family friend for a few months uh but i am tired of moving flat all the time to be honest so i really want to settle and have my place so let's see i don't know I don't know, maybe I will change my mind, who knows, let's see what I'm going to do. And before quitting my corporate job, this was my biggest fear, like, what if I don't have enough money, how I'm going to live, who's going to support me, how I'm going to have a place to stay, how I'm going to do with money, and this was my biggest fear that was keeping me stuck with my corporate job, and to be honest, it's been almost a year now that I quit my corporate job and I don't know how it's possible, but I promise I never run out of money. I always made enough for all my needs. I always had a place to stay, whether with family or friends or renting. Um, and I don't know, I've just always been taken care of. And, and even though, you know, when you quit your corporate job and you start a business, things go like up and down all the time. It's not, it's not very linear. Uh, and, and it is scary sometimes. Sometimes I'm like, oh my God, like, am I going to make enough money next week? Like to leave, what's going to happen? But then I use these little evidences that no, I'm going to be fine. Uh, the money that I need will come. Um, Every time I need something, I need a place to stay. I will find a place to stay. Um, like I'm always going to be taken care of by the universe. There's just no way I end up in a bad situation. So I use this as evidence and then I kind of relax and um, become confident again, uh, you know, raise my vibration. Because if you're always thinking about the fear, you know, oh my God, how I'm going to live, how I'm going to have money. You're constantly in fear. You create negative energies inside you. But when you let go of this fear, you trust the universe, you trust the process. You just attract things easily on its own and you don't have to do anything about it because you, you have this detached energy. And when you don't need, this is the energy of I already have it. So the more you can be in this energy that I already have it, I don't need, the more you're going to attract things, the things that you want in your life. I already love that it's near the beach and there is this amazing view and the palms. And I just saw like a big supermarket next to, not far from here. So I'm going to go on the, on the walk as well on the Riviera uh, later. I think I'm going to like this area. I don't know. It's exactly the area I was 
thinking uh, it's right near the beach uh, look at that amazing promenade and this promenade leads to Flisbos Marina and I love this place as well and I can definitely see myself coming here on walks or running and there are lots of people running and biking here and walking oh my god did I find my flat I came two days ago like I thought it would take me two months to find a place but So I didn't want to show the inside of the flat and everything because I don't want to jinx it. I don't know yet if I, I'm going to rent it. I need to wait next week. I've looked online and this is the best flat possible because uh, it's furnished and the furnitures are okay because normally the furnitures are very horrible. And I didn't want to take an unfurnished flat because then I'm gonna to have to buy everything and sometimes even things in the kitchen like oven and a fridge when in the unfurnished flat, there, is, there are none. So um, I wanted a furnished flat but with good furniture, which is very hard to find. And this flat has quite okay minimalistic furniture. So I really liked it. Also, it's within a reasonable budget. With this budget, it was the best furnished flat so fingers crossed I'm gonna know next week um, if I can rent it and if I cannot rent it it's okay it means I'm gonna find something better even better than this I trust the universe like when I mix a bit of traveling, lifestyle, visiting, and then my personal life. Anyway, flat update. So do you remember this flat that I saw two days after I arrived in Athens? Well, now it's been three weeks has half passed. And what happened is that I was waiting for the agent to speak to the owner, nothing. Then they gave me the number of the, of the lawyer. I called the lawyer. He was not available. Then I called again. Then he never came back to me. Anyway, this week, uh, so I've been waiting for three weeks to, <laughs> to get going. Um, and then what happened is that this is something that happened only, happens only in Greece. Basically, the lawyer calls me and said, yeah, so 
uh, all good. Uh, if you want to move uh, 1st of April, which is in three days. Uh, and also the price is this and then next year it increased and then the year after it increased. I'm like, what? Like, well, first of all, you tell me to move in like three days before, which is not possible, like I need more time. Uh, and then what is this price increase last minute? Anyway, I spoke to some friends and they say that uh, it's not normal. At least it should be two years of uh, uh, like same price and then maybe it can increase because they were taking so long uh, to come back to me I went to see other flats so today I went to see three other flats to make sure that the first one is the one I really love maybe there is an alternative so I found another flat that was really good I'm going to show you a video of the balcony view. I don't know why in my vision I had sea view. So that's what I want. Um, this flat was very nice. It was smaller. So everything was smaller, the bedrooms, the, the living room, and it was unfurnished. And the problem with unfurnished, I told you I need to buy everything, even an oven and a fridge and a wash machine and everything which is okay because uh, then I can furnish it uh, as I want. But at the same time, I'm not projecting myself so long term that I'm going to stay there for many years and blah, blah. So for me, you know, I like the freedom and flexibility that if I want, I can live as well and not have all these furnitures and what I'm going to do with all these furnitures. Um, it was the same price. So then what happened, I called the agent again for the first flat and I say, hey, can I see it again? So I went to see again the first flat on the same day. And actually, I'm going to tell you which flat I choose in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And uh, let me know in the comment section if you like this type of videos, but I promise I'm going to do more videos on manifesting, on mindset, on the law of attraction, because I really love, love this topic. So it's all coming. Uh, now that I'm in Athens, I really have a better routine with work. I'm more consistent. I do more content and I want to be more active on YouTube. So it's all coming to you very soon. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.